Okay, so the problem is we have time-based drilling data, uh, but we want to convert it to depth-based data for geological and geosteering purposes. So we have a Witzemold client, which in this case is Starsteer. The drilling data and process book, which is OPC time-based data. And to do that, uh, we use the Witzemold standard, which is... Uh, supported by Starsteer. So I've got this uh, server running here with a database and a WitzML server running in IIS. It's the PDS WitzML one, which is open source and free and just nicely easily set up. You just download it and install it. Download and install and same with the database. So um, to make it all work, I wrote a little application, uh, which is this one. And you can see in the little spiel here, it says it reads the data and sends it. You can pause the video and watch it if you want. Um, but yeah, I'll show you an example. So over in Starsteer, I'm just going to find my mouse. Um, well, I'll just select the well. Oh yeah, I've got that well selected anyway. Not that it matters. So uh, in Starsteer, you just put in your WTML server name, connect. And you can see all the wells we have available. Um, so we've got this test one, which I'll add a new well board to it and uh, add some logs as well. Okay, so you can see now that we've got test and test one. I'll add test two. So my little application here, just say two, add well bore into a well name and I've got to be the same and this is clunky I'm not a programmer so uh, it could be better so we'll just say, say test and then the well ball test 2 we'll call it enter the program uh, just returns a response from the WitzML server saying test 2 so that means it's worked properly so if I come over here and disconnect reconnect see test 2 has popped up uh, but it does not have logs yet so to get logs set up you just hit enter so you want to add logs uh, and we want to add it to the well test and <laughs> don't use a naming scheme like this because it would be quite confusing so enter well born name Oh man, this is really confusing. We don't name it like this, so I think it's just test two will work. And then we'll uh, add the log, main log name, test two log. Boom. I think that actually worked. So I'll just show you what that looks like here. So well is test. Test two, test two log. That's it, it's just got the name. So if we want to actually update some logs, I'll show you that now. If I get the naming right, so we say update logs, say test, we call the World War test two. And the log name, test to log. Now you need to put a uh, bit lead in to see LWD data comes up in the right spot. So we'll just say five. And uh, yep, this will just run. Detects a well depth increase, obviously. Um, I guess obviously for me. Um, yeah, usually doesn't. It usually takes about five seconds to read the OPC data. Maybe a couple of seconds to update with some uh, There's something oh, it's going on. Oh, it took 18 seconds. That's really weird. Um, but yeah, once it gets going, it's fine. So it's reading that OPC data. It's the data it's sent. But this is what now will look like in Star Steer. On my mouse again. Disconnect. Connect.
So the new one I just made, test to log. And you see all the log data is coming through now. Uh, and you got one that's five meters off. So that would be, you know, all the LWD stuff would be, um, I'll move my mouse, yeah. That's a difference of five meters. That's just the bit lead. So like the, um, the stuff that's, you know, supposed to be measured from the bit is at the, just the well depth, really. That's how it works. And um, this will just continually run and update. They're actually, uh, they're not increasing well depth at the moment, so it's not continuously updating. But, um, well, this is detecting off-bottom changes and it's updating a different log. But, yeah, anyway, that's how that works.